All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and you might be a little bit confused, you're probably like, this is just a triple single, what are you talking about? This is not your design. Well, actually, when you look a little bit closer at the design, as you can see, this middle single chain is going in a different direction than these first two sing or these other two single chains here on the outsides of the bracelet. And this bracelet here is just called the two-way triple single. Because why not? So, I actually had made a tutorial for this bracelet a long time ago. Or, well, not really that long, but about a year ago, last year, I made a tutorial for this. And I made a tutorial for rainbow looms, and also made tutorials for other looms, and now I'm going to be making this tutorial for the monster tail loom. So you will need a monster tail to make this design. You will also need a hook. I'll just be using the metal tip hook. Any hook should work for the design. You will also need a clip. Any clip made or used for making rubber band bracelets should work as well. And you'll of course also need rubber bands. There are three groups and I'll explain what each group is. So the first group here you'll need one for the two single chains on the outsides you'll need another group for the single chain here in the middle which will also be used for your s extension or I guess just one little band for your extension and then you'll need another group for your connector bands which will also be the color you use for your cap band here at the beginning of the bracelet so In the description, I'll have the number of bands you'll need to complete either one inch of a bracelet or one centimeter of the bracelet down in the description. So then all you'll have to do is really just measure your wrist and figure out about how many bands you need. And yeah, so use the pause button so that you can get the supplies that you'll need. And we'll go ahead and get started. So, have your hook nearby because we'll be using it quite often and quite soon and also have your monster tail so that the red dot is on the left all right so we're going to start by making the two outside rows two single chains here on the outsides of the bracelet and before we even do that we'll get a C color band or a connector band and we'll be making it into a cap band and to do that you just take your band you put it on or you put it going across either these two left pins or these two right pins doesn't matter you'll stretch the band across those two pins but when you do you're going to just twist the band onto the pin on the opposite side so the top bottom or the oh my gosh the top right pin and you bring it down to the bottom right pin make sure you twist it onto that bottom pin Alright, so we're already going to need our hook, and what we'll do is we'll just use it to pull the little shapes here so that they stretch all the way across the three top pins and the three bottom pins. And you'll get a shape that looks like an hourglass, like this here. Alright, so another little note, we won't be using this very outside pin on the left so the red dot pin and we also won't be using this pin on the opposite side so just these three pins here on the monster tail all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get started so we're gonna get two of our a color bands so the bands that will be on the outside of the bracelet and actually we only need to really use four pins so you can just go ahead and take your two A color bands and place them going across two pins, which is right next to each other, or two rows of pins. So you place one A color band going across these two left pins, and then another A color band going across these two middle pins. Then you'll use your hook and we'll loom the cap band here on the bottom onto these bands. Right, very simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, get two more A color bands, 
we're going to put one going across these two left pins and another going across these two middle pins and then we'll get our hook again and we'll loom the bottom rubber band on each of these four pins we're using here so you can turn your monster tail around just make sure once you finish that the red dot is on the left again then you'll push the bands down and now we're going to start adding some connector bands so before you place any more A color bands you're going to get a connector band place it going across just these two pins here so either the bottom two pins or the bottom or the top two pins I keep doing that <laughs> and once you place it you can go ahead and get your two A color bands and place them so one's going across these two left pins and the other is going across these two right or these two middle pins and you'll take your hook you'll go ahead and loom the connector band first up and over the pins onto the bands above them or it and then you'll loom all the bottom bands all four pins Alright, now we're going to do this again. So, here's the pattern for adding your A color bands. So, you're going to first get your connector band, your C color band, stretch it across either the bottom two pins or the top two pins. And do the bottom. Then, you're going to get two A color bands. Place one going across these two left pins and the other going across these two right pin. Oh my gosh, these two middle pins. I guess they could be the right pins. But it's just these two middle pins. And so then you'll get your hook. You'll grab that connector band first, pull it up and over. And then you'll loom the bottom bands on all four pins here. Make sure you get the other side as well. And so what should happen is you should end up with only one rubber band on each of these four pins we're using. And then the pattern starts over. So I'll go ahead and explain it two more times and then I'll show you how you make the reverse single chain. So the single chain go in the opposite direction. And yeah, so the pattern is, once again, you first get a C color band slash connector band, stretch it across, either the bottom two pins or the top two pins then you get two A color bands you place one going across these two left pins the other going across these two middle pins that's all you have to place so now you get your hook you grab that connector band first and pull it up and over and then you use your hook to loom the bottom bands on all four pins and so what should happen is you should only have one rubber band on each of these four pins you're using. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and explain it one more time. You first get a connector band, stretch it across these two bottom pins, or two top pins. Then you get two a color bands, you place one going across these two left pins and these the other going across these two middle pins. And then to loom, you get your hook, you first get that connector band and pull it up and over. And then lastly, you loom all of the bottom bands on all four pins. And I should only have one rubber band on each of these four pins you're using. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So what you'll do is you'll just continue the pattern over and over until you make the what you have long enough so that it will fit around your wrist. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this three more times. And then I'll show you how you close off the bracelet.
and you'll actually not want to go as far as you need to to make it fit around your wrist. You'll want to stop about one or two bands before it would be just long enough. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more little layers and then I'll show you how to close this off. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so there we go. I just added three more little little links to my triple, my two-way triple single here. And so now, what we're gonna, I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you close this stuff off so you can start making the second, or I guess a third, single chain that's going backwards. So, what we're going to do is we need to add two more A color bands. So no more connector bands, just your last two A color bands. And you just place them normally, one going across these two left pins, the other going across these two middle pins. You loop the bottom bands. So now that there's only one rubber band on each of these four pins you're using. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get these A color bands here on our loom so that they are on just two pins. So we'll use our hook and I like to put it either on the, well I guess it really doesn't matter where you put it. So I'm going to bring it to the middle. So what you do is you take the band with your hook, bring it over to the pin that you want to have all your bands on. And then you do the same thing on the other side, which would be the bottom for me. And there we go. So now I have all my bands on my middle pins. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my B color bands now. So all of my middle single chain band, so I'm just going to take one of them and I'm going to place it on the two pins that I have these two A color bands on. And so you'll use your hook and you'll loom all the bottom bands now so that only this B color band is what's left. So you do this on both pins. Now what we're going to do is we'll actually want to have our clip nearby now. And we're going to move one of the little loops here on our loom so that this, all the bands on our loom right now, which is only one, is on only one pin on our loom. So basically what I'm saying is you take your hook, you grab one side of this rubber band here on your loom, take it off that pin, keep it on your hook, and bring it up to the other pin where the other end of this new band is. Like that. Then once you have this, you'll get your clip and you'll attach it to that band. And you can use your hook to stretch this band out so that it's easier to put your clip on, but oops, I'm just going to go ahead and put my clip on like this. And once your clip is attached, you can take this stuff off your loom. And now, we need to make the single chain that's going to go through the middle of all this. So, 
what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much turn our bracelet so that it's kind of upside down. So you'll have the clip side, so the side with the clip on it, you'll have that pointing down and the cap band end here on the other end is going to be pointing up. And what we'll do, let me try to think about this real quick. What we'll do is we'll take these A color bands that are attached to this B color band here, so all those bands there, you're going to put them on one of these two middle pins. So we're going to be using the middle pins. And so I like to take this one little layer at a time, sometimes two if it's easier. I'm going to try two. And what you'll end up with is you'll have four little loops of bands, four little layers of bands here on one of your two middle pins. Alright, now we're going to start adding our B color bands in that backwards single chain. So we're going to get a B color band, we're going to stretch it across these two middle pins, make sure that red dot's on the left, and once you place it, it's sometimes easier to just use your fingers and you'll just loom those bottom four bands that you had on there onto this new band. Then you'll push that band down. So that B color band down. Now, we need to get a B color band to be looped through all of these C color bands or all these connector bands here. So it's easier to push your other two single chains apart so that this is easier. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the first connector band here. So you have your bracelet upside down and so you're going to find that first connector band and you're going to find the space in between that connector band. So first connector bands right here and the space is right here so that space you're going to put on one of the two middle pins I prefer the middle pin here on top you have your loom like this and you just lay the band lay the bristle down like that and so you should have one side of this connector band here in between all these pins and then the other side of the connector band should be on the outside of the loom with all the rest of the bracelet. That's very important. And so now we'll get another B color band. We'll stretch it across these two middle pins. Sometimes it's just easier to use your fingers. You'll just take the bracelet and just pull it up and over like this. So kind of like you're looming that connector band, except you just have this whole bracelet here as well. And then you'll get your hook and you'll loom the bottom rubber band on both of these middle pins. Alright. Now we're going to find the next connector band. So, we already used this first one because as you can see, this B color rubber band is going through it. So the next connector band is right here so you need to find the space in between the single chains and inside that cat or that connector band. Now it might be easier to just stretch the whole thing out across these three pins. And so what you should end up happen or what should end up happening when you have this connector band stretched across or on that middle pin, whatever you prefer, you should be well, you should be able to separate the next connector band after the one that we have on our loom, you should have one side of that connector band you're using on the outside, and then there should be these two little connector band bands, one from the previous connector band, and the other from this one we're going to be using. So it's very important, and they should be kind of in between all these pins here. And so now we'll get another B color band. 
we'll place it once that all that stuff about the B color or the connector band is true. Place it. We'll first get that connector band here. Okay. And then we'll loop the bottom band on both sides of our loom in the middle here. Alright, now we're going to do this again. So I'll go ahead and explain the little pattern for adding your B color or your middle row, your middle single chain. I'll explain it two more times and then I'll just continue adding. So we've already used this connector band here. So now we're going to use the third one now. So we're moving on to the next connector band. You need to find the space in between that connector band. So the two sides of the little band there. And in between the two single chains. And you'll just put it... You'll put that space on that middle pin. So whichever middle pin you prefer. I prefer the top one. Then you get your... Uh, well then, make sure that you have these two little loops, one from the previous connector band that you used, and the other from this connector band you're using now. And then on the other side, you should have the other end of this new connector band, and then the rest of the bracelet. And so once you've checked and you've made sure that's true, you'll get another B color band stretched across these two middle pins. And first, get this connector band here, or pretty much the whole bracelet, pull it up and over, so that's so that this B color band is going through it, and then you loop the bottom band on both sides of the loom. And you can push those B color bands down, and now the pattern starts over. So I'll go ahead and explain it one more time. So you need to find the next connector band, as you can see this one's already being used, because this B color band is going through it. So my next connector band is right here. Right here. And so you need to find the space in between the two little layers of that connector band. Put that space, or you put that pin going through that space. And one side of so the inside of your monster tail in between all these pins here, you should have two little loops of connector bands, one from the previous connector band you used and one from this one you're going to use. And on the other side you should make sure that you have the other side of this connector band you're using and then the rest of your bracelet. So here on the outside of the monster tail. Once you've checked that, you can go ahead and get your next B color band, stretch it across these two middle pins like so. Then we're gonna first you we're gonna first loom this connector band here. Just putting it on this B color band above it. And then we'll loop the bottom band here in these middle two pins. Like so. Then we'll push down the band. We'll find the next connector band and the pattern all starts over again. So if you're still not sure about the pattern for looming and adding your middle single chain, then go back to the time that I'll have listed down in the description, it'll be pretty much near the top, and you'll just go back to that time and I'll be showing you how to continue adding your B color single chain. But if you're all set and you know what you're doing, then you can go ahead and continue, and I'm actually going to go ahead and add the rest of my B color single chain, and yeah, so just go ahead and continue adding until you get up here to where your cat band is. Once you get to your cat band, let's just stop and I'll explain what you do once you get there. So, go ahead and continue. I'm going to continue as well. Make sure you finish through the rest of your bracelet. And yeah, so just use the pause button if you need to.
All right. So I've looped my last, well, not exactly my, well, my last B color band, but I've looped a B color band through all of my connector bands. So this B color band here is going through the last connector band here in my bracelet, except for the cap band. And what we're going to do, is once we get to this point, is we're going to use this space in between the last connector band and the cap band. So this space here, we're actually going to go ahead and put that on that middle pin. Then get a B color band and place it across the two middle pins. So you got this space here, B color band, you go ahead, do that. And so this B color band should be on top of any connector bands, except for the cap band. And then you loop the bottom band on both middle pins. And now you're going to get your cap band and put it on one of the two middle pins. So you should already be through all of your all of your B color bands now. As you can see, you have your two-way triple single down here. And so once you have your cap band on one of the two pins, you're going to take the B color band, so the B color little loop that's on the other side of where you put your cap band. You'll grab that with your hook and bring it over to the side with the cap band in the other end of the B color band. Then, once you're on that side, what you'll do is you'll take your hook and you'll stick it going through all of the bands on that pin. And then pull all the bands off of the pin, but keep them on your hook. You pull all your bracelet through, the loom. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach our clip here on the other end of our bracelet to all these bands here on our hook. It's very important that you get those B color bands. Alright, and once you're sure you got your clip attached to all those bands on your hook, you can pull your hook out of there, and then adjust some of the bands here on your bracelet, and you don't need your hook anymore, or your monster tail, or any of that from the bracelet anymore, because now you have your two-way triple single bracelet. So, now it is time for the outro. So, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make the two-way triple single bracelet on your monster tail successfully. And hopefully now you have your two-way triple single and, well, yeah, that's actually pretty much it. So, that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and bye!